In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a clean, white, aesthetic look for your new iOS 14. All right, let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hide, basically hide all the apps. So you want to hold down the screen, then tap on this icon with the multiple um, dots. Then you want to deselect all of them. Oh, okay. So the very last screen, you can't, you can't do it. Okay. So you're going to have to manually remove these. So you're not really deleting it. You're just moving it to your app library. All right. So the next thing you're going to want to do is browse through your phone and figure out which apps you use on a regular basis and bring them back to the home screen. It just makes getting the new icons a little easier. All right. To, an easy way to find your apps is to just click in this app library um, search bar and then type whatever you're looking for. Then you can, from here, you can actually hold down and then drag it out. All right, so these are some of the most common apps that I use. And this is just for uh, tracking purposes. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna download uh, new icons for these. I actually like to get the icons first and then match the wallpaper afterwards. It, it's a little easier that way, in my opinion. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download new icons for these apps. And to do that, you can go to Safari and go to this website, icons8.com. And then from here, you can download new icons. So let's uh, type it in the search bar. Um, we're looking for a phone icon. And then here it gives you different styles of that icon. So it depends on your taste. But for this, for this tutorial, we're, we're just going to do simple, uh, simple white and black aesthetics for this look. So this is a good one. So if you highlight one of these, you can see uh, the style is hand drawn. So we can come back up here. We can hit this filter icon. Scroll down until you see hand drawn. So now you have a bunch of different icons for for this keyword that you put in. So let's click on this one. You have a picture here, hold down on it, add to photos. All right, so the next step is you're gonna wanna download a new icon for every single one of these uh, existing icons. All right, so as you can see here in my folders, I actually have all the icons I'm gonna need right here, and I'll show you guys what to do next. All right, so the next step is to use this app called Shortcuts. I'll show you guys how to set up one and then you can just do this same thing for all the other um, icons. So you want to hit this plus icon on the top right corner. Add action. Type in open app. Then you should see it here on the second item. So click on that. Select this choose. You're going to select an app that's going to open. So the first icon would be the phone. Okay, we want to open the phone app. Okay, now you want to hit this three dot icon on the top right corner. Okay, we'll give it a name. We know it's the phone. Okay, now we're going to add to home screen. Rename this 
to phone. And then next to phone, you want to select the icon again. And from here, you can give it the new phone icon that you saved. So I'm going to choose this, then hit add. Okay, add it to home screen. So if we go back to home screen, here it is. All right, we're gonna, so we're going to do that with every single one of these icons. All right, so now I have all these icons. I can delete all these apps that I moved over. Well, you're not really removing it. So remove app, remove from home screen. Now we can choose a background for this. And you're going to want to download an app called Unsplash. So we're going to look for a white, a white background. I like this one. So we'll download this. Okay, we'll go back into our photos. We'll make this the new background. All right, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to download this app called Widget Smith. And from here, you can customize some icons. All right, so here's one I already configured. You can uh, scroll down here to the font. I just kept it at rounded. Tint color. Not sure what this one. Okay, so that's the uh, the font color. I kept it at black. I want to keep it a white and black uh, theme. Background color. I picked white. And then border. I picked white. Okay, you want to hit save. Okay, and then now to get that widget on your home screen, do a long tap, tap the uh, plus icon on the top left. Then here you'll see widget smith. Click on that and then select whatever size uh, widget that you created. So we created a medium. Add widget. And there it is. Okay, we're going to create a few more. Let's go back into widget smith. So I created this other icon, which is just the time, current time, and same settings, uh, rounded, black, tint color, um, custom background color, border white. Okay, save. And then I created this other icon just for the battery level. Same settings as well, black, custom, white. And save. Okay, so I have all three of those. We can go back to our home screen and add those widgets. So that was a small add widget. Okay, and we had another widget. Okay, it looks like a duplicate, but you can click on one of them, select it, and then select the uh, the other option. So there you go. And you can move them around. So I'm gonna move this up. I'm gonna move this one to the right, keep this one. Actually, I'm gonna swap those around. There you go. And that's it. If you guys found value in this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.